I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions on ratios and percentage. And let me congratulate my student Ria for an excellent performance in this particular test. Now, here is the first question which we are going to discuss. It is on the bar game. So, let's see the question in details. Susan buys a tennis racket from a store. The tennis racket's original price is $75. All tennis rackets are on sale for 25% of the original price. The tennis racket has a scratch, so she receives an additional 10% of the sale price. How much does Susan pay for her tennis racket, including 13% tax? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, standard way of doing this is, we know the original price, which is $75. Let us first find the discount on this price. Discount is 25%. So we'll write 25% discount. What does it mean? It means on $75, you're going to get 25% discount. That means 25% means 25 over 100. Off means times of 75 right so that is the discount value so we can calculate this value using calculator so we'll do 25 divided by 100 times 75 that is equals to 18.75 so 18.75 is the discount original price is 75 dollars this discount is on the original price and therefore we can say the sale price is how much so sale price is equals to original price price minus discount right so so we have the sale price as 75 minus 18.75 so that is Let's use the calculator again. 75 minus 18.75 equals to 56.25. 56.25. So we get the sale price after discount. I will also show you an alternate method of finding this value. Alternate method is kind of like this. Since there is 25% discount on $75, how much do you pay? You pay 75%, right? So we could write sale price as 75% of $75. Do you get the point? $75 original price, you have sale price of 25%. That means you do not pay 25% but you pay 1 minus 25 or 100 minus 25 which is 75%. So that is equals to 75 over 100. You could also write 0 0.75 times 75 and that is equals to how much? Let us do this calculation also. 75 divided by 100 times 75 it is exactly equals to 56.25. So the advantage of this alternate method is that you do not have to find discount and then uh, do the difference, correct? So this method could be used. Now let's continue further. The tennis racket has a scratch, so she receives an additional 10%. So this 10% is not on the original price, it is on 56.25 of the sale price. So this sale price, right? So we do 10% of sale price which is 56.25 do you agree so this is how much let's calculate this value so that is equal to let me write this as 10 over 100 times 56.25 right so that will be 5.625 normally you have to round them so you are going to round this number two so 10 percent of this will be one decimal place is more right so so that is the discount, correct? So once you take away this discount, let me write this as, as equal to uh, 5.63, okay? Because we will round this to 63. So after discount, the price is, so discount, 
So now net, I should say net price is equal to 56.25, which is the sale price. I mean, 56.25. Take away this discount of 5.63. Correct. So let us do this. 56.25 minus 5.63 equals to 50.62. So we get this as 50.62. All this is in dollars, right? So on this price, you have to pay the sales tax, which is 13% here, right? So we now do sales tax, which is at the rate of 13%. So this will be 13% of 50.62, correct? So that is equals to 13 percent means 13 over 100. You should write 0 0.13 times 50.62. So that is how much. So we'll multiply 50.62 by 0 0.13, which is 13 percent, right? 6.58. So we get a value 6.58. So then, how much does Susan pay for her tennis racket, including this? So total payment is how much? will be 50 this net price plus the tax right so which is 50.62 plus tax of 6.58 right so that is the total amount to be paid so we'll add to this 50.62 and we get 57.20 so total payment is that is our answer is dollar 57.20 right that is how you should do it now as we are talking about the alternate values now here also we could do we have additional now this is additional 10% off right so on this that means how much do you pay you pay 90% correct so we did 90% of 56.25 correct that means 90 over 100 times 56.25 let us calculate how much that is 90 percent means 0 0.9 times 56.25 equals to 50.625 do you see that so you get the same value so that is an alternate method whenever you have discounts you could calculate what you are paying correct so that ways you could do once you have this value rest of the things are kind of similar so you, some of you could also adopt alternate method for solving such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.